So one thing that I've been noticing a lot recently is um, the use of planes when hooping and pretty much the importance of that whether you're doing single hooping or multi hooping and I really thought that it would be nice to do a little tutorial post blog thingy about planes and the importance that they have because I think knowing, being aware of your planes can just make your hooping infinitely just skyrocket in um, precision and cleanness and uh, just the overall visual value of what you're doing. So as quite often the, one of the things that I notice with people who are starting out hooping is they're not really aware of um, keeping your hoop on these different planes and the hoop can kind of be anywhere and their body's facing anywhere or whatever and that's fine particularly if you're just learning because you're just doing whatever you want but I think planes definitely take a huge role when you're performing and you're trying to create something for someone to look at so for instance let me grab a hoop You'll notice that this is a lot more boring to watch than something like this or like this, simply because the um, because of the nature of the hoop. It's flat, but it has um, so much potential as far as framing and um, illusion go. So you really want to emphasize that, as far as um, I'm concerned, because it kind of gives someone something more to look at. If you're just going like this in front of someone, spinning it around and not really paying attention to like whatever you're doing and stuff and um, where, how the audience is seeing the hoop, you're gonna lose people's interests um, a lot more quickly. So, um, so as far as planes go, you have a vertical plane, which is a plane that I work mostly in, I think, and then you have your horizontal plane, which has a lot of potential too in um, the way that you can define the, um, the hoop as a sphere almost, if you want to think about it that way, and like think about the way that it's um, leaving like a trail, so to speak. So I just, um, I guess wanted to bring this up, so to bring this to people's attention that um, of how much being aware of keeping something on a horizontal plane and making sure it really is parallel to the ground with whatever you're doing, whether it's on body or not. And then um, also the potential for illusion with a vertical plane too and what you can do with that. Um, and also definitely, definitely, most importantly comes into play when you have two hoops. So. With two hoops, say I'm just doing this or whatever, but then, you know, you're not paying attention or something, and then this one gets all wonky and starts going in, or you're trying to do something like this, and then, like, I don't know, this one ends up kind of being more horizontal, or, I don't know, whatever it is, it kind of, it causes you to look less crisp and clean with your moves than if you were to really pay attention to keeping them on the vertical plane, and, um, parallel to each other. So I guess um, the biggest thing that you can do is probably watch yourself in a mirror. Also take videos of yourself so that you're noticing um, you know what you're doing and maybe it just makes you a little bit more aware of the next time that you're doing doubles or the next time that you're um, trying to perform or whatever and to think like okay I'm going to stand here and I want, um, I want to like use these circles as an illusion, or I want to do, you know, whatever you want to do with your circles, because that's kind of how I think of them. Um, but to face to face the audience instead of doing something like this, where you're focused, I feel like a lot of the times it's easy to lose yourself in what you're doing during a performance, and to not take the audience into account, but you're the one who's creating the entertainment for the audience, so um, keeping them in mind is totally important.
So anyway, I hope that that little bit of whatever has, um, has put some new ideas into your head and you can go out and practice and be more aware of your planes and what you're doing with two hoops or one hoop or the way you're facing the audience or whatever it is. So happy hooping!